Hey guys, Joey here again um, for another unboxing video. Um, today, uh, we're in my garage, as you can see. So uh, what I'm going to be unboxing is a floor jack, a hydraulic floor jack by Craftsman, and a pair of jack stands. Now the floor jack is um, for sale on the Sears website. I got mine. It's originally $229, $230, and it's on sale for $199 and the jack stands are originally $55 and I got them for $32 and then even as of yesterday um, you can they'll give you like a cash voucher right before you check out and mine was $30 so for, for the total pair for everything I got I got them for like $185 which is a really really good deal so um yeah let's get right to it Craftsman 4-ton hydraulic jack and the Craftsman 4-ton jack stands. Here we go. So here's the jack. Oh, we're just going to do this really quick. Um, I've already taken the main straps off, the big straps that go. So it's a Craftsman low profile steel floor jack, professional series, 4-ton. Um, so there's, uh, yeah, here it is with a one year warranty. Um, if anything happens to it, uh, Sears is really good, usually really good at um, doing their warranties, uh, no hassle. So it's a low profile design, ideal for vehicles with min minimum ground, ground clearance, if I could talk here. High lift feature can be used for all vehicles, including SUVs and others with high chassis. Lift capacity 4 tons of course it's 8,000 pounds. Lifting range 4 inches at its lowest to 20 inches at its highest. Jack weight is 101 pounds and it is feels like every bit of that 101 pounds. So if you're looking for a jack um, to take around with you um, maybe for like a mobile mechanic or something like that this is not the jack for that. So um yeah, let's do it. Like I said, I already cut the main straps off, so let's see what's in here. So here's the handle. I guess the handles are at the top of the jack here. So um, let's do these. Let's take these out. You can see this is the bottom of the handle. Uh, this is the top part with the rubber hand piece here. And then the end, um, some of the older jacks before, some of you mechanics might know this, they had the bolts that went through to hold the two, the two pieces together. This has one of those uh, quick connect button things. And you just slide it into the female end, if you will, the receiving piece. And uh, let's do that really quick. Trying to do this with one hand. So just push the button, push the button, slide it down, and there it went right in there. So we'll put this off to the side. See what else comes in here. The usual foam and stuff. Let's throw that off to the side. Sorry for the echo. Like I said, I'm in my garage, so not very good acoustics. So here it is. Here's the Craftsman 4 ton hydraulic low profile jack. So, uh, I'm going to set you guys down real quick so I can get this out of the box. Uh, oh, just one second here. So here it is, the jack out of the box. Oh, that mess there. <laughs> so, um, yeah, it is a very heavy jack which is usually a sign of good quality. Um, so there it is. So it has the, the wheels in the back rotate 360 degrees, if you can see that. So it makes uh, maneuvering this thing um, a lot easier. Sorry, I'm breathing kind of hard, man. This thing is really heavy. <laughs> 
So it's definitely not a good jack for uh, the mobile, the mobile guy. So, but if you got a garage, you know, you do just gonna that's and that's where it's gonna stay. That's perfect. And my dad has one of these, and he's had it for a couple years, and that thing is works still works flawless like a brand new jack, no leaks. I know some guys online right now are talking about these crafting jacks leaking, but um, there's a whole process they got to do to get the air out um, of these jacks. And they're all a little bit different. I know these Craftsman's, um, I just put this in the receiver hole there, and it has this little turn, turn button to tighten that in there so it won't come out. So what you gotta do to, you gotta purge the air out of these jacks or it puts too much pressure on the seals and that's why they, I think some of these guys that have these jacks are having problems because they're not purging the air out. Now what the directions say to do is turn it clockwise to make sure this jack is all the way tight. And what you're gonna do is pump it eight and then turn it counterclockwise two full turns to make sure the valve is open so you're going to pump it eight quick times all the way up and then all the way down obviously this is not all the way up and all the way down you're going to pump it eight times leave it down then you're going to take this piece off here this this is a a cover a metal cover and then I'll do I'll do another video to show you guys that and then here's two bolts to take the cover off one on this side you're gonna take this cover off after you've pumped it eight full times leave it down there's a little rubber piece inside there that you have to kind of push to the side with the screwdriver to um let the air out here I'll go ahead and take the cover off just uh, one second Okay, so I've removed the two um, screws that go on each side of the cover here. One there and then one on the exact opposite side. There's the screws. It's just, uh, this jack's just use a, a regular Phillips head screwdriver. So you take this off, cover off, and you're going to pump it eight full times like I was talking about before. And you're just going to take a screwdriver and just push this off to the side. It's just a rubber plug that goes in this valve. So you're going to do it and just kind of push it off to the side and you just heard I think you could just hear the air come out so that's it and it's purge uh, purge of the air now if you don't purge the air out different things that can happen is maybe um, it not lifting the vehicle properly uh, you know the, the, the jack just acting weird So, so yeah, so this is that's it um, for this jack. Should give you um, many years of uh, continuous service as long as you take care of it. There's a couple of grease zerks there to grease it. There's one here. Um, it's a dual piston jack. So yeah, so um, if you ladies. Or looking for a gift for your husband right now. He maybe he's, he needs a new jack. His is maybe a piece of crap. Um, now's the time to get it. I got mine through Sears for it was like one ninety nine, and by the time I got the cash voucher and everything like that, um, it came. It, it was like one seventy five total. And here's the jack stands that I got with it. They're uh, Craftsman two jack stands, Craftsman Professional Series four ton. Um, for the pair, four ton jacks, and here they are. Uh, they're really good quality. Uh, mine weren't are balanced. They don't move. You know, they don't. I've seen some on other sites, on other channels that there were the legs were unbalanced. But these are uh, these seem to be really good quality. They're nice and heavy. Um, Really good made. The paint is good. They're not all scratched up. So uh, yeah, they're uh, really good stands. My dad also has a set of these and has had them for a couple years and 
no issues at all. So, uh, you know, so if there's any mechanics out there, they're looking for some new stands. I highly recommend these Craftman um, four ton jack stands. Um, it's more than enough weight. Sorry, I'm shaking you guys around. Um, it's more than enough uh, weight um, to hold pretty much any car and any truck. I got a Chevy 2500 um, Silverado, and my dad's jack stands have held that up just great. Same thing with the jack. So, um, yeah, so that's the video for today, the unboxing. And, um, yeah, thanks for watching my video. And uh, if you guys like it, give me a thumbs up. Thumbs up. <laughs> and if you didn't, give me a thumbs down. Uh, that's great, too. Leave any comments or questions you have on, this, on these two items. And uh, also, if you guys want to see more unboxing stuff, I'm going to do some more videos here coming up. I still got to do a video on uh, another review on the carpet shampooer that I got, which is totally awesome, by the way. And I still got some more things coming up uh, here very shortly. So uh, stay tuned. Give my video a uh, thumbs up, like I said. And if you guys like it, subscribe. So, yeah. Hope you guys like it. And I uh, hope you guys are having a good day. Bye-bye.